Right, so I finished gluing all these back together and um, bracing the uh, mid enclosure to the back baffle. So the front and back baffle now are locked together. And um, I've also glued a brace uh, to the mid enclosure to the brace that goes across. So everything's nicely locked together. Uh, I've just spent an hour or so sanding them and it's such a shame because um, the veneer it's almost salvageable and you can see some staining here I mean I've sanded it as much as I dare um, but it's the top you can see marks there and it's just too far too far gone I mean the sides are, are yeah they're almost almost okay and the front as well uh, this is it's a teak veneer, but this is actually uh, like a teak uh, moulding. So I can really go at this quite hard with a sander. Um, but, you know, I just can't get rid of things like that, which is a bit of a shame. And I've sanded the back as well. And I've got a screw there that goes through my um, packing at the back into the mid enclosure to lock the whole thing together. So I'll probably fill and uh, sand that before I spray the back. But yeah, the other one, I mean, again, the top isn't too bad. Um, I'm getting a bit thin there. You know, I could almost live with that oiled up. Um, again, the side, it's got a scratch. You know, I just can't sand deep enough to get that out. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not bothered about the bottom at all. It doesn't matter, but you know, there's a stain down there that just won't come out, it's too deep. It's a shame because they're almost, almost salvageable. So, yeah, leaves me with with a couple of options, really. Um, I can spray them black. That works well. Keeps the wood grain effect. You might have seen that on my um, Ditton 15s. Uh, or I can vinyl wrap them um, with a wood grain effect. Um, if you've watched my Ditton 22 video, uh, that's what I did with those and that worked out really really well so yeah I don't know I'm um, considering all options really at the moment and I mean if you look at the if you look at the um, vinyl not the vinyl the veneer on this you can see how it can come up it's just such a shame it's just too far gone Yeah, I'm never going to get rid of this sort of staining and I'm certainly not going to re-veneer these so yeah I think vinyl wrapping is probably the, the way to go I'll roll it round and this is going to be um, felt covered yeah but otherwise pretty pleased really
Okay, so I haven't really filmed um, a lot of this because I've just been trying to get on with it. Um, so I'm sort of filling this video up with sort of pictures really, but uh, yeah, just a quick video tour. So the fronts of the cabinets are done and they're all sanded back and everything now. And the backs are all sprayed black. Um, all the foam is back in there. I've done the mid-range enclosure a little bit differently and we've got some polyfill in there as well. Um, all the holes are drilled for the new drivers. Um, so yeah, other than wrapping the cabinets and then putting the black felt on them, they are pretty much there. And the um, drivers are all repaired on the mid-range. They're all glued back together. Um, and I have carefully sprayed the surround and a little dusting on the cone um, it's not going to make any difference to it at all obviously it's had a dust of spray paint on there so technically it's a little heavier but nothing that's going to cause us any problems and it just looks a lot better our tweeter there then similar thing with the woofer the surrounds have had been masked up and sprayed and also an ever so light dusting on the cones um, everything's nice and free all lovely um, and I've made my stands um, yeah they've not turned out too badly um, I've got some uh, speaker spikes to go on the bottom and I've made these just the right size so you can stack some records in there as well um, but yeah otherwise they're pretty good the front covers I've stripped those back sanded them back and also dusted them in black so they're ready to be um, have new cloth fitted so yeah in terms of the cabinets and the stands i'm pretty much about there uh, like i say i'm just waiting for my vinyl to go around the cabinets um, and then i can assemble them cables out the back and then start designing and building the crossover for these and that's going to take quite a bit of doing. So yeah, little update. Um, so here's some more pictures. Right, again, sorry for all these stills that are in this video. Um, I've just been cracking on with these and, um, yeah, setting up the camera whilst really trying to get through these. Um, it's just taken a bit of time. But, uh, yeah, this one's wrapped. As you can see, it's turned out pretty well. 
I've done the front in gloss black and what I've done is I've run the soft part of the Velcro all the way around the edge a um, bit like the LS35A that sort of design um, so it's going to help with a bit of um, diffraction around the edge there um, but also neatens up the join between the um, wood vinyl and the gloss black so the drivers are in there and they're the stands you've seen me make so yeah we're kind of um, cabinet wise about there so that's what we're looking at or looking like with the covers on so new black cloth so yeah they turned out pretty well obviously the vinyl wrap is never ever going to be as good as a proper veneered finish but as you can see it's pretty good getting the corners right is the tricky part but um, yeah they're not bad at all you really have to look for any defects so I'm pretty happy with them really yeah so um, yeah sorry this has been a bit of a hodgepodge video the next one's going to be quite involved where we um, test um, each driver see what sort of frequency range they can cover without distortion and breaking up and then off the back of that we're going to um, build up our crossover and um, yeah voice them properly so that's going to take probably a couple of days to do um, but yeah okay guys thanks for um, sticking with me on this one and catch you all soon okay so because I've got this wood effect vinyl that I've wrapped the cabinets in and then I'm transitioning to black uh, trying to make a neat joint there is really difficult um, so and also to help with um, a bit of uh, diffraction as well I'm running the soft part of velcro all the way around the perimeter so as you can see on on that one all the way around like you'd see in the um, LS 35 A's that sort of thing which I think is kind of a nice touch to these so um, that means because I haven't got the little blocks of wood that step the um, cover off uh, I'm going to run some batten around the back of the covers um, and then the hard part of the velcro will be on that so with the covers off you're not going to have all these wooden blocks around with velcro on it um, so it should look a bit neater that's the plan and then I've run foam around here to build or to shrink that in um, for the smaller mid I'm using so uh, yeah coming along yeah so like I say as, as I've gone around those with um, with the soft part of the velcro and I've not got those silly wooden blocks on there um, so I can keep the front baffle nice and clean what I'm doing instead is spacing off uh, this with the same sort of thickness and then this will have the hard part of the velcro on and also because the sides of the chipboard frame here are so weak this is also going to serve to um, bolster that strengthen it up so um, it's kind of worked out really well yeah so this is the back of the grill frame as you can see velcro on there and this batten to stand it off and reinforce this section along here of the chipboard So all the additional bracing in these has paid off. You don't often hear, hear a 44 cabinet that solid and dead, so um, yeah, very happy with that as well. Man. It gets so flipping busy in there. I'm going to need a bigger shop.